Deputy Director, Stakeholders Relations for APC Presidential Campaign Council, Sunday Diary, has taken the door-to-door -door campaign for Tinubu Shatima to Ibado North Federal Constituency. The Minister of Youth and Sports Development was accompanied by a member of the House of Representatives representing Ibado North Federal Constituency, Prince Akiremi Jagaban. The federal lawmaker who is seeking re-election and Minister uh, Sunday Diary went ac across the Ibado North local government conversing uh, and preaching the gospel of the Tinubu Shatima, as well as APC to the people of the constituency. The campaign train of Sunday Dari and Prince Akiremi also went to some notable markets in Ibadan North local government, such as Bodija, Songo, and Barimo. Minister of Youth and Sports Sunday Dari joins me now on TVC News at 10 for more on this development. Honorable Minister, thank you for joining us this hour. Thank you for having me tonight. Your door-to-door -door campaign is coming on the back of a protest in Ibadan over the scarcity of fuel and the new Naira note. Uh, you recall that um, even political campaigns are being postponed as a result of this latest development. What exactly was your experience speaking to the people in Ibadan North? Thank you very much. You know that uh, the APC presidential candidate was billed to be in Ibadan on the 7th of February. And for about five days, we've been on ground trying to get things ready. Of course, we had the demonstrations on, on Friday, which was regrettable, but also that was quickly brought under control. We have set a number of things in motion, particularly uh, the dot-to-dot -dot campaign, which is uh, when you get to the home run. The last three, four weeks of uh, at an election like this, you need to really go dot-to-dot -dot and make your pitch to the people. So against that background, we felt it was also important to go out there beyond pitching our candidate and our party. We also had the opportunity on that day to speak to some of the issues on ground, including that of the fuel scarcity and also uh, the, Naira, uh, the Naira scarcity, as the case may be. So the engagement with the people went beyond just pitching and asking for votes, but also trying to explain to them and seeking their understanding about the situation that was going on in the country. And it was quite an, um, an experience because as we went through uh, Ibadan North, you know, the biggest, the Bodija market is the biggest market around. Ibadan North has the largest votes in the whole of uh, your state. And we went from one market to another. We had this engagement and we, had, we got some very good reception. So I'm sure you're aware that many blame the APC for the untold hardship Nigerians are currently facing. How easy, really, is it to sell your candidate amidst this crisis? Well, you know, it's understandable because APC is the ruling party. But we've also seen all levers of government being cranked into motion to make sure that this uh, development, uh, the, the sufferings of our people are moderated. We saw the president made a commitment last Saturday that it was going to, within seven days, make sure that this is brought under control. Uh, efforts are ongoing. Even today, we had another the president had another meeting with the CBN governor and the governors. So efforts are ongoing at different levels. Again, I say it's regrettable. There are unintended uh, consequences that have followed this policy. It was not intended to, you know, bring about uh, this level of hardship and inconveniences. And absolutely, I know that the APC government is doing so much. But also, when you look at the elections ahead. We need someone who can move this country further forward in the right direction. So far, we've had a solid foundation being laid by the President Mohamed Buhari administration. You know, it's not all government policies that work almost automatically. We have sometimes it takes a bit of time before it works. So having a candidate that is coming on in another two plus weeks it is important to let Nigerians know that you must leave this the leadership of this country in the hands of the ruling party, but more importantly, in the hands of a leader, a presidential candidate, Ashraj Bola Metinubu, who is tested, tried, and can be trusted. And I'm one of the apostles of Ashraj Bola Metinubu. I can speak to his the level of intellectualism, a problem-solving mind, and somebody who is adept at what is needed to solve problems All and right. bring about solutions in a society such as ours. Briefly, let's talk about the oil politics. You are from there, so you should understand the political dynamics in the state. The state governor has an openly pitched stand with his party's candidate, but his deputy was once quoted to have said that they will work for the APC. Does Ashiwaju have the support of Governor Shei Makede? 
You know, I, I remain solidly in the ABC. I don't know the workings of the mind of, of the PDP governor, Shayi Makinde. But what is important is that all the stakeholders in the APC of Royal State have been working to make sure that we get the maximum vote for uh, Ashwa Jibala Metunibu, the APC presidential candidate. When you look at the data, there are 3.3 million uh, voters in Oyo State. And what we intend to do is deliver at least 81%. Recall, Oyo State is the center of political articulation for the entire Southwest. Oyo State has a history. Oyo State will deliver for our presidential candidate. And I think that's what's important right now. Um, for the, what's the workings of the mind of uh, Makinde, I don't know. We just know that we need to preach our gospel. We need to pitch our candidate because he has a track record. He's somebody that stands tall above all the other candidates out there. And I think that's our job. The door-to-door -door campaign is going to move from one local government to another, 33 local governments. It's gone through three local governments now. Before the weekend, we'll have rounded up 15 local governments. And we're going to also have street captains. Who will we continue from wherever we stop to make the pitch about the policies of uh, Ashwaji Bala Mentunubu, policies for the youth of our country, policies for the women, policies for the farmer, policies for energy renewal, et cetera, et cetera. Well, you talked about or you said having a history. The PDP narrowly won the state uh, in the last presidential election, but I guess we'll see how it plays out in this coming one. Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Sunday Diary, thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 10. TVC, thank you for having me tonight.